Welcome back to Grumps Barn, where today got a little job to do, and then oh, the next job. Well, this little job you'll see in a minute. Uh, the next job you'll see will be on the Defender. The old girl is now finished, back on the road again. But the weather has been so fucking weird up here of late. I have not gotten around to uh, doing a drive out any. I will do though. I did promise I would, so I will. But uh, I've just had the kids up here recently, all three of them, which was lovely. Only problem was they came up for a week. The weather was lovely till they got here. Uh, we had shit weather for a whole week. Mainly mist. Couldn't see bugger all around here. <laughs> Nearly the whole week. And after they went, it went back to being nice again. Take from that what you will. I just think the weather doesn't like my family. <laughs> yeah, sorry it's been a while. Ah, oh, say apart from having uh, the kids up here for a week, uh, I've just been uh, I've done a few little bits and bobs sorting out things around here. I had a neighbour's flower mower to sort out. That's been fucking annoying. I've got it all sorted out, running perfectly. He came out to see it, ready to pick it up, and it was running perfectly. He left it for a couple of days. Started it up, it was fine. As soon as he started trying to use it, the fucking thing wouldn't rev. Ah, dear. So he's currently trying to sort that out. Because I was only just getting it going for him as a favour. He didn't even know if it ran or not. But there you go. Yeah, I do get up to a few bits and bobs here and there. Oh, and uh, for now, no more broken ribs. Look, sorted out the uh, bloody slope up here. No more bits of bloody wood. They're over there. Those are the ones I slipped over on and broke me bloody ribs. Not so long ago, if you remember. That's now done. Oh yeah, we've got uh, a few lovely horses in the paddock at the moment. Not ours. They're in there temporarily. Just having a bit of a rest from their own usual place and keeping our grass down a bit for us, which is nice. Right, now we've caught up on that. As I say, the next job after this little one that I'm not looking forward to too much, because you know what it's on. Uh, <laughs> will be the defender and that will be uh, redoing both swivels and also the um, oh bloody hell no nope, it's gone the what's it bar yeah. <laughs> you know the one panard rod yeah that's the one that's got to be done and look oh my bestest friend back again bloody thing had the usual problem with these buggers since I've redone the clutch it's just not holding like it should keeps getting air into the fucking clutch system so I've taken it apart again I've disconnected the two halves of the clutch system I even repl I've replaced the O-ring in case it was getting through there. But no, it's not. So I finally decided, fuck it, I'm going to put a new clutch master cylinder in it. Which thankfully on these isn't a massive job. The only massive pain in the fucking arse is disconnecting the bloody connector. Right down there. And my hand is... Ah, there we can see. Woo! There we go. Out there, that fucking goldeny thing. Got to disconnect this part from it again, because that's obviously what connects on the uh, clutch. Right. 
So first things first, I've just got to disconnect the battery, take out the battery box. I won't bore you with that. It's all 13 mils. Obviously you've got the two 13 mils on here. Well, I redid the uh, battery holder there. That's another 13 mil. Then you've got four 13 mils holding the uh, tray in place. You've got one down the front of it here, one in the middle of it, right in the middle of there, and two that go into the side. And that's a nice, quick and easy job. All right, I'll just quickly get on with that and get back to you. Right, with that done, now comes the hard bit, the pain in the arse bit. And I shall show you with this new one what you have to do to disconnect these fuckers. Should be very easy. This is how they work. This part connects in to a female part, obviously which has a pin that pushes in the middle against that stub there and that's spring loaded connects in and connects the fuel line together this around the outside the little o-ring it just keeps it all nice and sealed stops any air getting in through the connector all well and good this collar here is what you use to undo it now, what you're supposed to do is this is held in when it goes inside. When you push it in, there are tangs, spring loaded with tangs, these metal tangs that are springy. This pushes in, the tangs then clip over where my thumb is there, that line, and hold it in. Now, in order to undo it, you push this here, yeah, that moving, you push that forward, that pushes the tangs out the way and then this pulls out except it doesn't always <laughs> just when it feels like it and pushing this in it can be a complete and utter twat because the whole thing is in a very awkward place anyway there is basically a little tool that makes this job easier but quite honestly I've looked at the bloody things and they look so thin it's amazing they work at all when the things are sticky so what I was taken to using his spanners to push against it and push it in there as hot as bloody possible so that is what I'm going to do is push that in and try and disconnect it and as I showed before it's way down inside there and that's it that bit my hand is now patting on right so I'm going to try and get this apart and I'll probably be back in about half an hour or more depending on how long it takes because it can sometimes take an hour Sometimes it's five minutes. You never tell these damn things. Right, back in a sec. Wow, well, don't believe it, ten minutes. Brilliant. Yep, see there's the old one there. Now out. Now what I've got to do Just go inside the car. Did this clip to anything? No, it doesn't. It just sits around. This under here is your master cylinder, and it has no bolts or anything holding it in place. It's just clipped in, it just twists in. I'll show you in a minute. So I've got to go inside the car. In fact, I'll show you one. That's what I've got to do because I won't be able to film it in there. It's too bloody tight. On the end of this, on the push rod, you have this plastic bit here. Now all this does, as you can see, you can move it sideways slightly. This clips onto a peg. Peg goes in there. And that peg is on the side of your clutch pedal. And that is what operates your clutch. Peg then pushes up this rod in. And that operates here master cylinder simple as that and this here with the rubber that's a rubber seal on there that's a rubber o-ring is what seals uh, this against the bodywork so you literally have to push it in at an angle push it through the car and turn it or it might be that way and up I don't know find out in a minute but I've got to go in there just push this off of its peg 
and then turn the uh, master cylinder 390 degrees one way or the other I can't remember which I did check this out but as I haven't done this before ah, we'll soon find out got two chances it looks like it will go either way actually right let's get in there and get this unclipped well true to form this car's fucking me about I just had my hands right up inside there, right up the going right up the fucking clutch pedal, and I can't find that fucking clip. Can't find where the metal, where the fucking push rod comes through or anything. So I'm probably gonna have to check online quickly because I can't fucking find it. There's no way I could film in there. No way at all. So I'm going to have to do a quick check and get back to you. Oh, it's bloody hot in here. But it's only about 18 or 19 degrees. But the humidity is up at nearly 90, 90%. So it's the humidity that's killing me. Sweating like a pig. Right, back in a minute. Right, well thanks to YouTube. <laughs> nice to find someone taking one of these off. And it's actually not that bad. Although it's very restrictive for space inside. I've managed to disconnect the clip, which sits on the left hand side of the clutch pedal and way up. I had to use a torch in the end. But I wouldn't have known where to look initially. Thankfully through doing uh, looking on YouTube I found someone that was bugging about with one. And where to uh, look for that bloody clip. Then this master cylinder turns to the right. I've already done it. Go to the right and then waggle it a little bit and it'll unclip. So that is now unclipped. And should feed it out. Bit hard with one hand, but there you go. There we are. Hang on a minute, hang hands. Try again. And there we go. Fuck's sake. One master cylinder out. Catches all fucked on it. Yeah, I reckon the air's been getting in here. Everything felt a teeny bit uh, sticky before. Right, I'm just going to get this out, get it out the bloody way, and I'll get back to you. Right, now putting the new master cylinder in. What you've got to do is feed it under this black plastic bit here, whatever the fuck that is, then pull it down and right underneath the metal line that's near it. So that's where the other one went, and this was a, an original one on here. Hang on, need two hands. Uh, of course, this is all not wanting to go anywhere because it's all brand new. Pull it through. <laughs> now I don't know what you can see, you can see my hand. Oh, that's good. All right, now what I've got to do is I've got the, uh, where is it? There it is. Got the cage bit to the right there because that's where it needs to go to clip on to the uh, latch and I'm going to put it through the hole which is under there I'm going to go in there with this at this angle to the right push it right in clip it in 
and then turn this back upright again to lock it in. All right, let's have a go. And it's fine again. <laughs> it's winning at the moment. Fuck me. Go and get the bloody thing in there. Get it into its square hole that the plastic lugs go into. Then you've got to turn it. Oh my. It's only about 30 degrees, something like that. It won't fucking move. I've tried doing it from one side and the other side. I've turned it to the right, I've turned it to the left. Because you can't do it from either side. Definitely. Because it is just a square plastic fitting that just pushes straight through a square hole in the uh, bulkhead. You have to get it at like 30 degrees for the square bit to go in properly. And then you're supposed to just turn it so it locks in place. Yeah, he's just said done done. At the moment you just don't want to fucking turn off. It does, it turns because it's fallen out the hole slightly and it's only half clipped in. So it just waggles about. Ah, dear me. Who ever told you how much I love this car? My favourite. <laughs> thing right I'm gonna take five and have a smoke break I think and then get back on with it again all right it's finally in and I found out you can only do it one way I had a closer look at the tangs on it I'll show you on the old one Ugh. see there you go it's square in shape around here and if you look, the tangs at the bottom have a cutout. So it will only slide from the right to the left. It won't go the other way. If you try and do it that way, it won't slide in. And you have to make sure you've got it right in there and you've got it nice and flat. Which is a bit of a bugger, especially if you've got fucking pit shovel hands like mine now what I've got to do now is get inside and from what I can see I'm going to have to push down the clutch pedal in order to get the clutch arm in such a position that I can actually get it free enough to go anywhere near the pin because with the pedal up the pin is covered by a piece, has got a piece of metal at the side of it which will allow you no room to clip it on. So, now I'm going to have to get some light out. As I say, there's no point in me trying to film this. It's almost impossible for me to get in here in the first bloody place without trying to get a camera in there as well. So yeah, the pin is on the left-hand side of the clutch pedal as you look at it. And you have to push the clutch pedal down from what I can see to be able to uh, then slide the actuating arm for the master cylinder onto that pin and clip it in. All right, let's give this a go and see how long this takes. <laughs> well, this is a learning curve for me. Fucking thing. I've just realised it's not how you do it. I'm going to have to take the fucker back out again because it would appear from the amount of space there isn't up there that you need to put the plastic clip which I will show you this clip on here unclips pushing the edges of it this one's knackered anyway it unclips and it looks like you have to push that over the pin and clip it on first because there's only just room to slide this in and clip it onto it afterwards <sighs> bastard so i've now got to take that back out again take that clip off and put it on the, the put it on that pin so i can then clip this over and where you live and learn don't you here we go again Quick tip for getting these out because you've got four clips that all have to be depressed at once. Now, there you go, there's your clips. You've got four of those, all got to be depressed at once. And I found 
lemon rule spanner pushes nicely down over them and pushes them all in at exactly the same time make it a lot easier to get out just be careful because they ping out when you push them right back we go again put this bugger back in and then go and clip it in <sighs> he says it's <laughs> like it's that easy it's hoping it's hoping it's hopping hopping well i'm usually hopping only one leg so but hoping yes it's hoping fucking hell speaking chinglish now right anyway let's get on with it oh for fuck's sake well that's now clipped on what a twat that is to do you need a big flat screwdriver to give you some leverage to first push the fucking cage bit down over the pin and then to get the fucking round hole over that bloody pit over that fucking cage to clip it back on it's tight and there's fuck all bloody space up there to do anything right that's that done now to connect up the two main parts of the clutch line here and see if we've got a clutch. If not, I'll have to bleed it. Ah, oh, fucking hell. It's an easy job. Yeah. <laughs> fucking freeloaders. All right, there we go. Fucking thing. Push together with a 17mm spanner. You can get a lot more push than you can with your hand if you've got a bit of metal there. You can feel it actually, you have to wiggle it as you're putting it in, and you can feel it then slowly clipping in. Ah. And I've just checked the clutch pedal, and we have a clutch. Alright, so all I've got to do now is put all this back in. And back in that, and then that's it. So I'm going to win this here. Ah. I did not want this video to be a fucking freeloader one, but there you go. It's well had to be done. And as I say, next time round it will be the Defender. Guaranteed. All your money back. As you know, I've got to do both front hubs on that. We'll swivel, clean them all up. Fill in any bits where the chrome's missing. That sort of thing. All good, clean fun. And I should be putting gaiters on them afterwards to protect them from the silk fucking air around here. Well, we get that times. Otherwise, they're going to end up just as bad in no time. So, yeah, that's how he's doing. Oh, yeah, and as I say, the old pan I brought as well needs. Uh, I'll probably do that first, actually, do the rubbers on that again. I yeah, thought I should have tightened the fuckers up, shouldn't I? Never mind. Such is life. And all that bollocks. Right then, people. Thanks for watching. Hope you're all well. Take care. Look after yourselves. And I'll see you soon. Bye.